Arnold S. Relman, Wikipedia article audio. Arnold Seymour Relman, known as Bud Relman to intimates, was an American internist and professor of medicine and social medicine. He was editor of the New England Journal of Medicine from 1977 to 1991, where he instituted two important policies one asking the popular press not to report on articles before publication and another requiring authors to disclose conflicts of interest. He wrote extensively on medical publishing and reform of the U.S. health care system, advocating non-profit delivery of single-payer health care. Relman ended his career as Professor Emeritus at Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts. Relman was born in Queens, New York, in 1923. Biography Views He was educated at Cornell University and the College of Physicians and Surgeons at Columbia University. He was first professor at Boston University School of Medicine, then Frank Wister Thomas Professor of Medicine and Chair of the Department of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine, and finally a professor at Harvard School of Medicine. Relman was editor of the Journal of Clinical Investigation from 1962 to 1967. He was editor of the New England Journal of Medicine from 1977 to 1991. Relman was the only person to have been president of the American Federation for Clinical Research, the American Society for Clinical Investigation and the Association of American Physicians. In 1988 he was awarded honorary fellowship by the New York University School of Medicine. Relman died in Cambridge, Massachusetts of melanoma in 2014 at the age of 91. He was survived by his wife Marcia Angel, also a NEJM editor and the first woman to serve as its editor-in-chief, by his son David Relman, a physician and professor at Stanford University School of Medicine, and by numerous other relatives. Relman was an uncompromising critic of the American health care system as a profit-driven industry. He once said, the medical profession is being bought by the pharmaceutical industry, not only in terms of the practice of medicine, but also in terms of teaching and research. The academic institutions of this country are allowing themselves to be the paid agents of the pharmaceutical industry. I think it's disgraceful. On for-profit health care he coined the term medical industrial complex. He deplored the increasing treatment of healthcare in the U.S. as a market commodity distributed according to a patient's ability to pay, not medical need. He believed that the solution would come only by two fundamental structural reforms implementation of a single payer financing system like Medicare without investor owned private insurance companies and provision of a non profit delivery system, with multi specialty groups of physicians paid by salary within a preset budget. In 1999, Relman participated in a Harvard Medical School debate on the subject of unionization of physicians and for profit health care. His stance was described on alternative medicine. Relman was a decided skeptic regarding the alternative, complementary and integrative medicine movement. In 1998 he wrote, There are not two kinds of medicine, one conventional and the other unconventional, that can be practiced jointly in a new kind of integrative medicine. NOR are there two kinds of thinking, or two ways to find out which treatments work and which do not? In the best kind of medical practice, all proposed treatments must be tested objectively. In the end, there will only be treatments that pass that test and those that do not, those that are proven worthwhile and those that are not. Can there be any reasonable alternative? 
works.